Hi there. So I'm going to be talking about reactive assignments, and let me show you what that is. So I've got a heading right here. I've got a heading component, and basically what it is is it just takes a heading text, and it sticks right here. And then it has a mini heading text, which is just based off of the heading text, and it sticks right here. Okay, so I import my heading right here, and I get the heading text. That's what I'm setting it to. I'm a boring heading. And then I pass heading text through heading. And if they're the same, you can just delete this, and that'll work too. Um, and then I've got an input right here and a button. When I click it, it will set the heading to whatever is in the input here. So document query sector input dot value will be set to heading text. So watch, I'm going to say uh, new heading, change heading. You'll see here, new heading has changed, but mini still says I'm a boring heading. So the reason for that is here, I have let mini heading text equals, which is based off of this thing. So you would want that to update as well. But it does not do that because this right here, it doesn't really know that it's been updated. Okay, so usually you've got heading text here and it gets changed. When it gets changed right here, Svelte knows oh, I better update heading text, and now I'm going to pass heading text through here, and I'm going to update heading text. So it gets updated because heading text was changed. But it cannot see that mini heading text was changed because, for whatever reason, it just doesn't know that, okay? It can't be like, oh, it's based off of heading text, so I'm going to update it. Nope. It's just set to this at the beginning, and it stays like that. So if you do want it to update, you're going to put a dollar sign colon like that, and that will make it a reactive uh, assignment. So it will know that whenever this gets updated, you want mini heading text to be updated as well. So now, boop, and they're both changed. So this makes it reactive. Just another quick example, if that wasn't clear. Uh, let's say I'm here in app, and I want to make a let italic heading text equal, uh, we're going to put it in i plus heading text plus another a closing i to make it italicized. And I'm just going to put it right here um, in curly brackets, italic heading text. OK, and you'll see it's not registering as HTML, so you need to put an at HTML tag. So now it's, I'm a boring heading um, based off of that. So now if I update, you'll see if I update this, these both get changed, but this does not because it doesn't know that it needs to be updated. It's just italic heading text minding its own business. This, it just disregards that it ever used heading text in the first place. If you want to make it reactive, you put that star there, change heading, and there you go. So that might help you avoid some bugs. Um, this was one use case. There's probably others. Um, good luck using it.